kama good people a together give the dance queen aka mama kamhesh <laughs> karibuni sana if you're new here make sure you subscribe first of all and to the returning subscribers asanteni sana premier gang gang in wa true thank you thank you so much i will go straight to the points he i'm a stressed mom guys yeah na kani mechoka i am tired i am tired watu amku niambia being a mom is this tiary anyway guys today and i know most most of you moms you're going through it you've gone through it one i think i have two issues that i would want us to discuss i'm going to share with you guys one we are not sleeping mm -hmm. we are not sleeping nairobi has refused to sleep he does not want to sleep at all at all and two i don't know what to feed him he only have he only loves one meal so far that i've given him that ni meona anapenda so that's another issue and nimejaribu ku think racking my head up but i couldn't come up with an answer lakini i am so glad i have one and only eh manze this woman is a blessing to our lives she was there when nairobi was born she was there throughout the journey of nairobi being born acha before azaliwe and she's here with us and she made sure manze i know it's at night but she had to come through ame toka kazi but she had to come through and just help out a mom a stressed out mom so guys are you ready to meet our doula the one and only and i'm going to leave her contacts down below please guys from mommyhood make sure you reach out to her if you uh if you're pregnant if you're expecting if you have given birth she's there for you she'll take you out through, as in through she will take you through the journey and you have an easy time because being a mom mm -mm, it's not a joke so here to help us uh oh hi even the robby is like baba say hi say hi <laughs> see your kid see your kid yeah. meet our doula the one and only mama you want to introduce yourself one hi. one more time <laughs> hello how are you My name is Candy Moi. I am a doula, I am a nurse, I am a childbirth educator, I am a lactation specialist. Is what I told me mingi. Magic siko nimesema hata sijui hizo zingine zote. I work with mothers through this journey. Mimi napenda watoto, ninapenda wa mama because each journey is easy. It needs as much support as possible and I got you. So, um the first question is we are not sleeping by we are not sleeping i mean this dude here mm. has refused to sleep what he does is uh, he just wants me to be at ya i'm lying i'm not lying <laughs> he just wants me to be next to him mm. so at night he keeps waking up so often like you put him down uh, after maybe even an hour he's up so making those <laughs> crying crying yeah So I don't know what the issue is. Yeah. I don't know if we are not feeling right about what's happening. Okay, so some of the issues that would cost like you your sleep to see one is schedule. We should not have so many naps during the day. Mm -hmm. Baby should not sleep past 3 p.m. Um throughout the day up to at night you can accept maybe one breastfeeding session because sometimes they just want to be close to mm. so when they wake up they are tired as long as you make sure the lights in the bedroom are not on you make sure that ako too covered vizuri hakuna baridi umuingie ajue you are in the vicinity because sometimes they just wake up because they feel that where are you are not feeling you anymore so they want your attention So most of the times we rush then you are joining me part of opportunity na kimwekelea hapo by the way anafurahi opportunity ana nyamaza na lala ukiwa katu hivi chini start a fresh and now this one he cries extremely mm. as in ile 
nikaa nikaa ni kama neighbors wanaweza kuja kubisha ulize mnafanya nini mtoto he really shouts and then there is something else if um, babe ile analia lia tu usiku obvio obvio kuna kibila analia like nikaa nashtuka ah, no 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 is 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 a, a funny cry like he's dreaming but because his eyes are closed uh-huh. and he he keeps doing it oh. but kimbe atiti now he is quiet yeah, and hey. the breast is very sweet they enjoy the breast <laughs> ah, yeah. from what sometimes i may notice like kids most of the times at night they relieve what they were doing during the day so ni kama na ni kana dream something like that but um the best thing is just reassurance reassurance kama hajafungua macho reassure kuguse tu ah yes aw tuna reassure tunaitamulia at that point okay to for bed na mkumbusha i am here i'm not left you sometimes you can even you don't have to hold but sometimes you can put your clothes there No this is a trick. Siku soma my mother told me about it. Like sometimes the baby just has to feel the center. Put something of yours at your bed. Akonana. Anatulia tu. But it will not always work because sometimes it's just a trick. So unamguza tu, unamulia. Alafu na ana relax. Akirudi kulala, alafu siku stimulate sana. Pole pole. And then if it does not work then there by the way you have to identify come at the diaper is okay mm-hmm. hana fever um haja mangosi mingi like you go start you gonna as if you start somewhere mm-hmm. or anything mm-hmm. then after you've identified there's no problem then it's just attention because this guy is seeking attention in all ways and is taken over our bed he doesn't want his bed his bed is refused because i cannot even fit kwa he basinet yake tinika hapo then i i just lie down in it since even now mommy's bed is best mommy's bed is best and they waking up he wakes up at 5 so what we can do is the moment we do create this schedule we do ya to na to stike eh i like the story <laughs> so the moment we do create the schedule and the meal plan we are definitely going to have better nights because as long as i'm a shiba and as i'm capable of midnight maybe on rest beat that with time we will reduce even to that we are here we were only breastfeeding maybe before the bus but mostly you are subui it's expected cuz if they slept say roughly they slept he slept through the night we mm. wake up but depending on the time that you wake up to lala you need to get it so we we'll try and create a schedule where by say 7:30 latest we are sleeping then we breastfeed for now for this past few weeks we breastfeed like at midnight and then we put we put him back to sleep we see how that goes then we keep on assessing but what i do know for sure is the moment we have a solid meal plan the sleep has to be you kulala atana mabeta kabisa So it's it's not it's not a face. Yes, there's also the face where they have to make depression. And then la vizuri alafu tena narudi kwa kwa mkato wa kwa. Yeah, because he used to sleep pretty well. Yeah. So you find there's this cassation where this cap point in kwa babies at a time very small. Mm. There's a time they sleep well and then they wake up. Mm. And then they keep on waking up maybe for a week or two and then you go back to. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what we call sleep. This either means say you want to find it to make your goods fast where they they really need so much to eat to keep breastfeeding and a lot of stimulation mm. you are atulie but this will take some time yeah so as they grow this sleep regression will reduce so they will reduce maybe 
they will definitely reduce and we should keep him on a strict schedule. Strict schedule and our naps should not go past 3 p.m. Yeah, this one sometimes he even sleeps back at 5 because he sleeps at he can decide to sleep at 5 p.m. p.m. Then I Jalala Kwanzia Subui. So it's five. So you have to wake him up because he has to shower. He used to shower at six thirty, but nowadays to me stretch sana to around seven thirty because it's such a hassle. He can even take two hours to sleep. Yeah. What we can do, once we do create this schedule, we always make sure baby doesn't sleep past three. Ako active seven thirty. And they sleep. See I make vizuri throughout the day. A jalala past three. Now, meoga, you've done the the routine. You know, six thirty, meoga. Okay, how is this? You go to na meno. So you go to many malis. Hmm. You go game. Okay. Yeah. So we will create that strict schedule, mm. and I'm so sure because babies love schedules. One yeah. appenda. But they can wake up on. Like by this time, this is happening. By this time, this is happening. Of course, there's a time and that is a There is a time um, he wants to be with you. That's fine. You'd want to do some painting, some kucheza with water, whatever, some sensory play. But if these things are limited to a certain number of minutes or hours, mm. and you know by this time, baby should be able to be doing this. Should be able to you'll have a better night. Okay. It might not be able to, he might not adapt to it today or tomorrow, but if we continue, at a year now. And then you know, there's something I heard recently, I was in another seminar, and they were saying, babies are exponential. Anything that we do introduce to them, they adopt, they hold. When you sponge, you don't have to hold it, you don't have to hold it. Yeah, hey, you're like a sponge, <laughs> like a sponge. So, moms, if you're like me, if you're suffering like me, you know what to do. Uh, yangu, by the way, it's it's uh, customized, <laughs> customized advice and customized kila kitu. So, what you need to do is call, 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 and she'll come and help you. We will create yes your own schedule that is uh, for you for your baby you, yes, yes. For your household mm -hmm. a meal plan that works for your household if in your house you don't have broccoli you don't you don't like how broccoli tastes we won't have to introduce it True. in the meal plan so it has to be personalized just to make sure that you're having an easier journey so your mm. moms to feel like they're supported and in. Informed. Information is power in this challenge. When you're informed, unajua what to do with your baby at all points. Mm. You're not panicking. And that panic is what drives us women to depression. And then people say, that woman is dramatic. Is she really? She's just anxious. Yeah. She just needs support. Sure. You're out there and you might need support. Um, I am available. Please do reach out. <laughs> so my page is mommyhood transition on instagram on facebook my contact is zero seven zero seven zero three three five six two for moms who are in the third trimester i come through for you with lamas classes those are childbirth classes that prepare you for what is to come. You get to know. Lama's classes, I've seen people posting or commenting on some of uh, some posts saying they, they used the ball and nothing helped. But Lama's is not only the ball, it's content. It's a whole four sessions, each session two and a half hours. Imagine how much you need to learn. And it's not only the ball. Um, when you go into labor, I'm also there to support from onset of true labor up until the baby is born and you're able to latch the baby. Once baby comes in, we have a postpartum visit at your home where I teach you on how to take care of yourself, how to take care of your baby, 
how to basically balance that new life. Mm. If you have a firstborn and this is the secondborn coming in, I teach you how to balance, how to make sure that both your babies are able to baby basically um be get comfortable, sorry, get comfortable with the whole situation of having a new baby around. Um for you who's struggling with breastfeeding, please don't struggle. There's there's no cost that is too too much for you, your mental state, for your journey to be better, because you find you're struggling and you'd rather go and get information. I had somebody who was saying if your nipple is painful, there are some very funny things that were being mentioned. Look for the correct information. If you're pumping, what kind of support do you need? What do you need to do about pump, with pumps? You know, how do you use them? So I'm out here to support each and every mom. And I love each and every mom who has come through my hands. Yes. So guys, that has been our session. And I hope the information in it to share it up this idea. And please reach out. Please reach out. Don't suffer alone. There are people who can help you. And there are people who can make your mothering journey interesting. Because remember, your mental state, your mental health is very important. healthy. So guys, until next time. Bye. 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 You know, saying bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>